Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam well, with guys, the shoe. To another beer review, uh, another beer from Cellar Maker. Courtesy of my man Mike. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Um, we just reviewed Mostrata, and I just got done having a cigarette after that beer. <laughs> Fuck, that beer was so good. Um, and I'm hoping this beer is as good as the last one. So this is, this name is hilarious to me because of my one kind of recent beer reviews. Uh, this is Wild Gooseberry Cheese. 7.1% <laughs> alcohol by volume, not considered hashtag Team Low ABV. 100% Nelson Sauvin Hopped India Pale Ale. Um, I hope this is another West Coast style beer. Uh, I'm just laughing at the Wild Gooseberry thing. I had talked about, and I don't remember what beer it was it reviewed that was Nelson. But I said gooseberry is a fake tasting note. It's bullshit. It's made up. People just say it because they've heard it. It's not a real thing. Fight me if you if you want to. Nobody eats gooseberries. If you say you do, you're a liar. I don't believe you. I have a, one of my best friends is a chef, and that fucker doesn't even cook or eat with gooseberries. So <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Whatever. Cellar Maker, San Francisco. Um, brewed in can, San Francisco. Drink within. That's right. They gave us rules. 21 days. You have to drink within 21 days of the date in the can. Uh, this also was canned on May 4th, just like Mostrata. So we are, today is the 15th. 11 days old. Nelson is one of my favorite hops. I am a Nelson whore. Um, Nelson beers, if they're good, give me hashtag Nelson boners. And I like that. Um, I've told the story numerous times when I review Nelson beers. My favorite Nelson beer of all time is about 2013-ish Alpine Nelson. Um, that's the best Nelson beer ever. Um, and it's just not the same anymore, but whatever. Um, and I, I, I think, see, this is hazy, but you know, it's funny, like old school Alpine Nelson was just like this. So it's that like hazy lemonade. Um, I can't see through this. I, does this say that it's New England style? It, it, like this looks like Alpine Nelson, old school Alpine Nelson. It doesn't say if it's hazy. Um, I, I mean, whatever it, it's hazy. It looks hazy in the glass, but like I said, this is what Alpine Nelson looks like. And that was a West coast beer. So, um, it's beautiful straw yellow. It's glowing in the glass finger of bright white head. looks awesome in that eight bit glassware. So we're going to get some gooseberry <laughs> notes going. Shove our nose in it. Oh, it smells. Fuck. It smells so good. Both of these beers. Um, the aroma is fire. This smells like dirty, dusty, dank grapes. That's what it smells like. I can't, like I've, I've talked about it before, I cannot describe Nelson Aroma um, because it's not that it smells off-putting, but I could see why people would say it's off-putting. It smells dirty, it smells funky, it smells like, like I've said it before, it smells like feet and cheese. <laughs> But not in a bad way. It's just like, that's how Nelson smells to me. And I don't know why I like it so much. I just do. Do you guys like anything that smells weird? Like I, one of my really good friends likes to smell of gasoline. I'm not a big fan of that, but he likes that. Someone was talking about that. They're like, what's the weirdest smell that you like? I would say Nelson hops because they smell so funky and weird, but I love the way it smells. But this also offers like a crazy intense vegetal thing. Um, immediately reminds me of like when you have vine ripened tomatoes. If you smell the tomato vine, um, like that intense vegetal, that's what that smells like to me. Um, it's like a mix of white grapes in that. This beer isn't very bready. It smells sweet. I mean, it's not a boozy sweetness that I'm smelling. It just, it has like this cool kind of sweet aroma. There's no way it's boozy. Like it's 7%. We're not smelling alcohol. Yeah, it's just intensely vegetal white grapes. So let's go ahead and taste it. Mike, cheers. Thank you, sir. That's Nelson. Um, it's delicious. I think I'm still kind of on that. I'm riding that Mo Strata high. Um, any beer I would drink after that, probably gonna, not that it's disappointing. It's definitely not disappointing. This beer is fucking delicious, but whatever beer was right after that beer that I just drank um, was gonna, like it had a lot to live up to. <laughs> and this is not a letdown by any means, but I just, I'm still, that beer is still blowing my mind. This beer is fantastic. It tastes exactly how it smells. It's dirty, it's funky, it's earthy, it's intensely white grape. Um, and it has this cool, it doesn't go bitter on your tongue, but it tastes, what's the best way to describe that? Um, 
I don't know. Because it's not like digging into your tongue bitterness. It's just offering like a little bite of something. Maybe it might be that I still have that other beer kind of flavor on my tongue, but it offers like a little bit of a floral thing, which I like. This beer is much more bready on the flavor than the last beer was. The mouthfeel on this is awesome though. The, car the carbonation is spot on. Again, 7.1%. This is insanely drinkable. Um, and this is just like a showcase of Nelson hops. If you like white grape, if you like intensely earthy, dusty, dirty, um, if you like a little bit of vegetal mixed in with some sweetness, uh, maybe the sweetness that we're smelling and tasting is a little bit of that breadiness that, you know, kind of sticks out. It might be that, but, um, I mean, this drinks like a low alcohol beer. This doesn't drink like 7%. This is fucking awesome. That's another killer, killer beer from Cellar Maker. It's a fucking awesome IPA. Um, I talk about it all the time. People are really only into double IPAs and triple IPAs these days. Stop doing that and start giving 7% beers a chance. Give 6% beers a chance again. Because these beers, when they're done well, like these beers are, they're absolutely crushable and they're so aromatic and so flavorful with not eight, eight and a half, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11% that you have to just get fucking shit hammered drunk drinking. So um, this is world class. I love it. So two cellar maker beers back to back, two absolute winners. Um, Mike, I got to try and figure out how to get more cellar maker beer from me if they're putting stuff out like this all the time because this is absolute fire. I love it. So we'll leave it at that. That's wild gooseberry chase. Still don't know what gooseberry tastes like. Don't think it's a real thing, but I love the name and I love making fun of that whole tasting note thing. It's all love. It's just jokes. Calm down if you're getting upset right now. If you eat gooseberries, good for you. I'm not going to judge you. So... <coughs> I'm out of here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these.